the crates here. If you want an idea of just how much TV has changed, look at this. A West End red carpet premiere for a TV series with huge stars, Olivia Coleman and Helena Bonham Carter. And just as important, some really great rising talents that join me now, playing Prince Charles and Princess Anne. Welcome. This is amazing, isn't it, for a, for a TV series? Yeah, yeah, it's quite, it quite extraordinary. It's weird for us, yeah. It's kind of mad that so many people have turned out. It's lovely. It's really. Can you exciting. believe how huge it is? Um, well, I love series one and two, so yeah, kind of. <laughs> I, love, I love those series, and so, yeah, I mean, it's lovely to kind of experience it for ourselves. Great. So take us through Prince Charles' storyline. You know, what, what age is he? Are you playing him from? And what happens to him in that period? Right, so in series three, we pick up Charles age 21, and he's at uh, Cambridge University and uh, having time of his life. And then he's sort of plucked out of Cambridge and sent off to Aberystwyth University to learn Welsh for his uh, investiture as the Prince of Wales. How is your Welsh pronunciation? Oh, it's brilliant. Is, is it? it? I was there live. <laughs> I don't know if it's and brilliant. And it was. It was brilliant. Okay. It That's was. Merit, really? It was, honest to God, you got told to stop being so good. Oh, yeah, that is true. Yeah. That is true. I'm being, I'm pretending to be yeah, humble. I was out. really good. You were great. You were really yeah, good at it. There you go. Erin, you play Princess Anne. Yeah. Big storyline for you, the attempted kidnapping on her. Well, I mean, I mean, that's definitely something that happened in her life and she said no. But, I mean, you kind of witness her, in a sense, kind of go through a similar situation to Charles. She's just battling with how much she wants to commit to this duty and everything. So it's, 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 a, it's a lot of fun as an actor to kind of play that friction within your family yeah. environment. So, it, yeah, there's a lot of scope to have a good time with it. In some ways, we look at the royal members of the royal family as sort of caricatures, you know, the grumpy one, the blunt one, the stoic one. How do you find something underneath that? I don't know. I feel like, yeah, none of the, um, when you kind of approached it, you kind of had to get rid of all those kind of stereotypical comments because they're just not useful. Like, it kind yeah. of felt like we had to, I don't know, like, for, it's definitely our own version of these people anyway, and Peter Morgan's writing. It's, it's true. You've kind of got to, at some point, you've got to let go of the kind of, our, our version of Prince Charles and our, or yeah. our version of Princess Anne and just accept that we are creating our own narrative. It's a, a work of fiction and not a documentary. Yeah. You know. And what was it like working with the Queen, Olivia Coleman? It, it's still it's like, a long I think time. we finish sometime uh, spring next year. Yeah. So we're... But yeah. it's honestly, it's still, it's still very surreal to rock up on set and be talking to Olivia. It's still... It's still yeah, it's lovely. Okay. Well, hopefully we'll be speaking to her later. Good luck with everything. Fantastic Thanks. talking to Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Thanks. There we go. So The Crown is released on Sunday on Netflix, and it takes you through the late 60s uh, and the early 70s, and it promises to be uh, a right royal drama. Lucrezia. Duncan, thank you. And I know you're a massive fan of the show, so what a treat for you. <laughs>